hello again. We're still with Astrock, and uh, we wish to talk about a new product. But before giving the phone over to Chris Lee, please have a look at the board because in a moment I will block it. <laughs> Chris, please can you tell us a bit about the new Fatality motherboard? For sure. Uh, this is the you know the Fatality P67 Professional, and this board is born for the gaming. So this is fo focused on the gaming series motherboard, and as you can see that this one is you know we also because the gamers care about the stability, not the overclocking. So we're more focused on the stability on this main board when the gamer playing the games. So we have the you know digital PW, digital PWM design for the CPU power and also the V16 CPU power phases, and you can see that the gamers like the S. I and the crossfire so this board can really support that that kind of features and the most important feature on this gamer oriented motherboard is the Fatality mouse port you can see that on the rear IO there's a Fatality mouse port which can let the gamers to change the USB USB mouse frequency okay the default optical USB mouse frequency would be 125 Hertz but that one cannot satisfy the gamers so for this port it uses when the users plug the USB mouse on this Fitati mouse port they can change the mouse mouse port frequency from 125 Hertz to 1000 Hertz thousand hertz okay and the default frequency will be Jonathan Fitality's you know preference settings 500 Hertz but if 500 Hertz still cannot satisfy you can adjust to thousand Hertz so this is the also the world's most world's first motherboard can support this kind of uh, you know mouse porting ray change I got a question about that because I actually have a mouse yeah. uh, the death adder which allows it per default, but that is not real because it's not from the USB or how does it work? What's, what's the difference from having it in the mouse and then on, on the USB directly? Uh, well, uh, because um, of course some gaming mouse can, can support 1000 Hz or 500 Hz for the gaming mouse itself. But some of them, but some of the basic mouse, the default frequency is fixed, only 125 Hz. But with this motherboard, with this kind of a motherboard and uh, this kind of a fixed frequency mouse, they can still support the. So, you know, so basically, it's it's better support for more mouses, more mice. <laughs> exactly. Thank you, Chris Lee, for your time. It's a pleasure meeting you. No problem. Thank you. Thank you so much.